Today we're gonna to be talking about my top three coins that I am buying in this bear market. We're gonna go over their market cap, their potential market cap, which in turn is their potential multipliers, and then why I believe this coin will hit its potential. Let's get started. So first, before we begin, I want to address something. The lack of content that I personally have created, we've added Stefano's, but as you could probably tell, I have not been adding video after video daily. And this is actually pretty similar among a lot of the YouTubers right now. Give me a second, let me move me to this side. So, the market's bad right now. It's a bear market. People aren't jumping in to research stuff. They don't want to, it's just bad. And with that being said, people don't want to watch as many videos. My sub count is down and that's not just me. Go look at Superman, Crypto Daily, and pretty much every crypto YouTuber out there, it has slowed down tremendously. The subs, the views, everything. Now that's not to say we're not devoted. We just, we also have a life and we feel the same way. So with that being said, I will try to just do more research bring out as much content as possible. I want you to know that I am definitely still here and completely devoted. That's why we have Stefano's joining the team and we are definitely working on this coin score sheet that we've been talking about. Actually, this Eastern weekend, we talked about it for several hours, added a lot of new and exciting information to this and I am super excited to bring this to you. So with that being said, don't forget to smash that like button and of course, please smash that subscribe button. Let's begin. So the way we're gonna do this, of course, the all-time high, check out the market cap, the potential, and then why I think it's gonna hit the potential. Our first and number one coin is Dragon Chain. So Dragon Chain right now is about 57 cents, as you can see here, 137 million market cap. Check out their all-time high, we're looking at $5.27. Market cap was $1.22 billion. That's about, as you can see here, in 89, percent drop that is huge one of the top losers out of all the coins so if dragon chain were to hit its all-time high again we're looking at about nine times gains that is already huge just to hit a price that it's already jumped to now for potential i think dragon chain has huge potential you look at neo quantum those by themselves have hit i think close to that 10 billion mark Dragon Chain, I'm not talking about in the next month, but the potential overall, maybe a year, two, who knows? I honestly think five to eight billion is not asking too much. I actually think that's kind of conservative and the potential could be much more. But let's say it hits eight billion dollars, that's about 72 times we're at right now, meaning each coin would be about $48. So I, again, love this coin. Let me go into the reasons why I think it has this potential. And this one's gonna be kind of lengthy, so here we go. So their team is stellar. The more I research the team, the more I fall in love with this coin and I just want a dollar cost average. Next, they are constantly updating their community with news and announcements. I check on Telegram all the time, the announcement page, and I'm always getting updates on the next ICO that's coming, information about it, and I love that. Number three, and I think this is huge, they have little to no marketing yet which it makes perfect sense. They're waiting until they have a finished product and there's actually a few reasons why they're doing this. First, what is there to promote anyways? These coins that are promoting just ideas, that is not good. This is exactly what the SEC is talking about. They are hyping something that isn't even there yet. So Dragon Chain doesn't want to spend that money on marketing right now. It's a complete waste of the money that they raised since there's no way to monetize the traffic yet. Then once they have the marketplace established, they have solid partners and vendors, then they can go full force and that's when you need to watch out for Dragon Chain and I think the potential will happen then. After that, and I think a huge point that people always forget, Dragon Chain isn't really competing versus other big platforms such as NEO or EOS. They're actually helping others build off their chains. So basically when Dragon with Dragon Chain, you don't need to become another clone platform or have their own blockchain. They wanna give projects the ability to build their own blockchain solution using any of the products available to you. So EOS, NEO, Ethereum, and 
They also have an open source code one can use to develop into any other blockchain using traditional coding languages such as Python, Java, C++, etc. Also, another important note, this is one of those projects that you don't mind if it tanks a bit because you can dollar cost average and just buy more. And that is exactly what I will be doing and I know a lot of my friends are doing. Dollar cost averaging a coin you love. So if it drops, you are okay with that and you actually like it because then you just lower your average. You lower your average so that when this does shoot up, if it shoots up to that 8 billion mark, instead of $2 being your average, your average is actually 80 cents because you bought in this dip right now. Next, and you know I can't do this without WAN Chain. I know I talk over and over, it's almost like a broken record, but I actually haven't talked about it since it hit the market. So WAN Chain, I can't check their all time high because it's not on that website we were looking but their all-time high was around $4.82 on March 23rd. So it was around here. We're looking at 515 million market cap because their circulating supply is about 107 million. Right now it's currently $3.15 or about 340 million market cap. So compared to its all-time high, that's only 1.5 the price, which isn't a huge gain but that's because WanChain just came out. So it hasn't gone on this huge push or this huge dip yet. And I don't think it will dip actually. I know there's many people saying, oh, $1 WanChain, $2 maybe. I personally am still waiting for it to drop below 40,000 sats and that's my buy point. Everybody has their own. Again, that's my personal one. And I just believe there's way too many people that actually love this project and just want to accumulate more and more coins. So it's gonna be hard for it to drop. So the potential, this is where WanChain really shines. Honestly, I personally believe, and I know a lot of people, including like Ian Bellina and many other YouTubers, think that WanChain has the potential to be a top 10 coin. Right now, 3 billion is about the top 10, but back in January, I think top 10 was about 15 billion. Of course, that was the tip of a bull market, but if WanChain is able to hit just $15 billion, which I know is a lot, but at the same time, is it really, <laughs> maybe in a couple years, we're looking at a times 51 gain from its current price or about $151 per WAN chain coin. So granted right now that seems super ambitious because of the bear market, but it really isn't that far fetched after you do the research and you just look at how much potential this coin has and if they're able to achieve their plan so here's a nice little comparison, WAN chain road to the moon, what it would be times if it were to hit that market cap. If you, as you can see, Ethereum, it would be times 764. That might be tough to hit. I don't know. We'll see. But you can see the potential of this coin is huge. And I promise you, it's going to be awesome. So now let's look at WAN chain, why I believe it will hit its potential. So it has one of the best teams in the crypto space. And they will they seem to continue to add more and more top talent. I've shown this several times in my videos and you can go check out my WAN chain coin analysis where I go into this in much more detail. Next, and I know a lot of people don't really care about this, but I actually do. They have this sweet spot in the circulating and the total supply. Now, again, this is my personal opinion, but I actually love this number. It's not too high, like let's say Dropple, 0x, and it's not too low like Neblio. Granted, I love Neblio and I love 0x and I do love Dropple. The coins of 107 million is a very good sweet spot in my opinion. It's There's this psychology of how people think when they have a thousand of a coin like Neblio and they're just, it's not enough to them. Or if they have a million of a coin like Dropple and it's just, it, I guess the newer people like that. But overall, I think the 107 or the 100 million mark is a great spot to be. And then the project, it's just the whole idea. It's pretty much Ethereum, Monroe, and Ripple. And I've talked about this in another video. It's ICO friendly, and they already have talking about ICOs that will be on the platform. They have the private transactions where you generate a new address, kind of like Monroe. And then they have the credit and lending, which is super similar to Ripple, but it's not centralized, which is a huge issue in Ripple. After that, one of the more important parts is their partnerships. They are part of the leadership of the interoperability alliance which is huge for crypto as a whole and includes icon wan chain and aeon there's many more trying to join and i think this alliance is huge for the space and i'm sure many of you agree with me next and our final coin blockport 
Before I get into block part though, I wanna tell you, I did keep WanChain kind of brief. I don't wanna sound like a broken record. I know I've talked about WanChain over and over. And when we go over the coin score sheet, WanChain will be possibly the first coin we talk about. So stay tuned for that one. And that will be very soon, I promise you. So block port, we're looking at 29 cents per coin, 15 million market cap. That is ICO price. You look at their all time high on February 20th, we hit 85 cents. All time high was 41 million market cap, which actually isn't far off of the ICO. And this is because it came out during the bear market. So it didn't really have any chance to really get some steam. It's still at a 65% loss though. So we're about times three for the all time high, but the potential is much more than that. So in my opinion, I think Blockport could or almost easily hit 500 million market cap. So when I'm going over the potential, I'm trying to be as conservative as possible. I'm not trying to go to some ambitious number that I think is impossible. I'm thinking what I would be satisfied with maybe selling, or I would not be surprised at this price. So $500 million or $10 per block port token doesn't seem far-fetched to me. And I wouldn't be surprised. Ethos is a perfect example. They hit over $1 billion with literally no product at all. So why do I think that Blockport will hit this potential? First, their fiat gateway. It's gonna have US pairs trading for many Bitcoins and that is something we desperately need so that altcoins can hopefully move away from Bitcoin and we can have its own growth because with altcoins being tied to Bitcoin, we see what it's doing to them and it is awful. Next, they have that social feature, which is super similar to Covesting, where you can copy traders. I love this idea, and it's a huge reason why I loved Covesting a while ago. And actually, I still have my, my tokens, and I plan on holding it because I love Covesting also. I love the idea. I think it's great, especially for new people. And there are a lot of new people that are coming and will continue to come in the space. And then finally, you control your private keys, meaning you control your wallet. This is huge and allows you to feel more comfortable when using their platform. Also, they already have some big partnerships such as ARC and Deloitte. I think that's how you say that. So I want to check one more thing and this is their competition. So I found this on a Medium article and you can check it out. It's comparing Blockport, Ethos, Covesting, Binance, and Coinbase. As you can see, it's super similar to Ethos, has many more aspects than the other ones, especially Coinbase, which we all know how big Coinbase is. This is why I think Blockport has some huge potential. And this is why a lot of people think Ethos is gonna be a, a game changer. And I think both of them can work together to just really bring mass adoption to crypto and can be huge. Now, if Blockport catches on, the potential of 500 million could get blown out of the water. And I sincerely hope that happens because I love this idea. And I just, I think it's, it's huge and it needs to be implemented in crypto. So mass adoption happens and everything comes together. <laughs> Anyways, that's my video. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about my three coins I talked about. You knew I was going to talk about Dragon Chain, Wan Chain, and maybe not Blockport, but now you see that. Of course, there are a lot of other ones I'm looking at. These are just my top three that I am personally going to be dollar cost averaging, trying to increase my numbers and then just hold. And I don't mind if it drops because that means my dollar cost average drops. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.